We're on the verge of county tournaments, and it's time for the best of the best to play their best. And look who we got squaring off today. 10th ranked Ridgewood hosting 3rd ranked Mountain Lakes. This is going to be a good one. Each side staying close. Maroons up one less than a minute left in the first when Matt McCrink goes around the net, gets low, evens us up 2-2 two -two headed to the second. When Ridgewood responds, West Peeney gets the feed. Top shelf off the post and in 3-2 and they're not done. Oh no. They'll swing the ball around till it gets to Palmer Yates. He stays tough with it. He makes his move and makes the most of it. 4-2 home side in the lead. But then the Lakers get one back and then they get the ball back here on defense leading to offense. Reed Teachin starts to take away. Tristan Plotz finishes it with the equalizer. Just 17 seconds left. He ties it 4-4 headed to halftime. Momentum still up in the air. Ridgewood making their move in the third. Matt Thurston, heater. What a shot to take the lead. Five to four, but then more from Mountain Lakes. Great patience from McCrink, just waiting on his moment, falling down, scores again. Game high, four goals for him. Third straight quarter, they tied in the final minute, so we're even at fives, 12 minutes to go. The fourth belonged to Shane Nasham and the Lakers. Their senior goalie had eight saves, kept Ridgewood scoreless in the fourth, and that gave Plotz and the offense a window. Their chance, he made the most of it. The go-ahead goal, a 6-5 lead. You think they're pumped? Yeah, they're pumped. But what's a lead without a little bit of insurance? 15 seconds later, Kaz Kotzen rips it. Got it. Mountain Lakes scores four unanswered in the fourth to win their fourth in a row. Lakers nine, Maroons five. I'll just take my hat off, hat off to, to my kids in the fourth quarter. You know, they found a way to, you know, limit some of the things that they, they like to do and took advantage of some good shooting, um, moving the ball. A little bit, a little bit of wee ball, so uh, yeah, it worked out. This is such a like a motivational booster. Uh, going into counties, you know, our confidence is really high, and we're ready to go. It's huge, you know. Not only is it, uh, you know, solidifying our spot in the in the Gibbs, but it's also, you know, solidifying our spot as one of one of the best public schools in the state. Um, and you know, that that's everything. Uh, but these days, you know, one win means the world. And I think against a, a great team, well coached, you know, very clean, this win means a lot for us. We had a, a, a tough, tough game against a really strong Randall Pro team on Thursday. And then, you know, coming here on Saturday, two away games, I said we were going to find out on Wednesday. I said to the kids, we're going to find out what we have. So to have, again, to have, you know, uh, be honestly fortunate enough to win on Thursday. Uh, because Rima played, played a heck of a game and, you know, to come down here and, you know, put, put on that kind of 48-minute performance, um, hopefully it, it makes us uh, step a little bit, you know, more into, you know, into counties and states and the, and the end of our regular season. In Ridgewood, I'm Greg Brzezowski for JerseySportsZone.com.